Hi there, thanks for tuning in. I'm going to show you how to cook savoy cabbage and do grouse as well and give it a little bit of a twist, make it a bit more interesting with some lardons. We're going to do grouse and I thought I would use that as an excuse to show you how to dice an onion properly and also um, to cook cabbage, which you know we've all had at school and didn't particularly like. But actually it's really lovely if it's cooked properly. So I'm going to do this onion dicing thing and I'm going to try and do it as slowly as I can so that you can really see how it works. This bit is going to hold everything together. I'm just going to take the tip off. So the root's quite integral and what I'm going to do is just slice if you can see that all the way down trying to keep it as equal as I possibly can going all the way along like so and then I'll go horizontally it's always good to have a sharp knife for this this knife could be a little sharper but uh, bad workman and all of that the final thing is just going over the top and if you tilt the angle of the knife then you get relatively even dice so what I'm going to do now is with this start doing the cabbage so I've got a drop of olive oil just to get things going. So the onions have now gone in. I'm going to get that garlic oil in. And at the same time, the diced chilli. And then I'll start frying off the much harder outer leaves of the Savoy cabbage. Now that's going to cook down for probably about another two minutes. And then um, I'm going to add the softer leaves. And I've got a bit of stock over there as well. Right, we'll stick the lid on that. That can look after itself, and we're just going to prepare the grouse. Just going to put a little bit of seasoning in there. So a pinch of black pepper and uh, rock salt. Probably do with just chopping these up a bit. I like putting lots of garlic in because then that lovely sort of aromatic garlicky flavour um, sort of penetrates the flesh, and you can really taste it. So those can go in. I think we're going to use a bit of thyme. Um, you know, any woody herb is good. Rosemary has also worked quite well. I'm just going to leave it and put this on. So that will do. Um, I then stick that on a tray and I'm going to roast that off for about 25 minutes on 160. So in it goes. Mm. Now I took the grouse out of the oven and I let it rest for about 9 or 10 minutes and I'm just going to take off the um, a pancetta that we use. You're going to take off the legs first. If you ever do poultry, always try and take those off. In fact, I'm going to crown it here, which means take it off the main carcass. Set that aside. And I'm just going to work as close to the bone. Work down the wishbone. There we go. Let's get that off, because this is absolutely perfect. That's our cabbage. We're going to plate up now. The cabbage looks fantastic so let's get that in there let's just chop this up and then we can kind of have that as sort of lardons in your savoy cabbage and then we put the grouse on top and then finally we can garnish it with the very syrupy juices in the cabbage so there you have grouse with savoy cabbage enjoy <laughs>